Well, I guess it's time to start a new game. Hey, my name is Garrett, and welcome to episode 68 of Atoll's Trek. I just released my game Space Prevention Force, and I'm now starting work on a new game, which is currently nicknamed Puppeteer. This is the first week that I've solely worked on this game, so let's see what I did and have some fun. The main focus of this week was to get all my ideas in order and figure out what the game was actually about. I'm someone who likes to visualize a lot in my head, so most of the week kind of looked like this. But honestly, I did enjoy coming up with ideas and it's got me more motivated to actually start working on the game. I actually started thinking of ideas for this game back in like January, but a lot of this week I spent thinking of even more ideas and organizing all the ones I've had. I use this sort of multi-step system for organizing and coming up with ideas that it works really well for me, but it might seem a little bit weird to other people, but I will share it anyways. Step one was to get all my ideas in one place, which in this case was a Google Doc. I usually come up with my ideas either just randomly daydreaming or right before I fall to sleep. I write them down on my personal Trello boards, quickly jot them down, and I put them all eventually into this Google Doc. I will note that some of the ideas say VR game in front. It's not a VR game, at least I originally thought it was, but it won't be. Maybe eventually, but, but not right now. All in all, the document totaled about 33 pages, which is a lot, which is why we have step two. <laughs> Step two was actually where I started organizing my ideas. I created several broader categories like gameplay, story, marketing, art, etc. This is so my random ideas were a little less random and I could look at one section and understand what I was thinking. I didn't really remove any ideas at this point, kind of just shift them around. Although there were a few that I removed because the vision of the game has changed since I originally thought of it. So I removed some of those. Step three was where I took my organized ideas and condensed them into shorter, simpler, sometimes much shorter ideas. For example, this is one original thought I had on the gameplay. Puppeteer, maybe it is at its core a stealth game, and maybe if you needed, you can use combat, but you can only use each move once per day life. <laughs> so I ended up turning it into something like this. Stealth gameplay with fast system for planning out combat. Only get to use one of each type of move per day. Three types of moves, block, strikes, kicks. Learn new moves as you go so you can be in combat longer. I also took out a lot of stuff that was repetitive, a little too complicated, and stuff that wasn't fitting the vision. And now I am currently still on step four. Step four is where I took all my condensed and organized ideas and made them more condensed and organized. <laughs> I made some subcategories to be even more organized. For example, for the gameplay, I broke it down into core mechanics, side mechanics, player, etc. I also took out some more ideas just to try to simplify things a little bit more because I know I can't accomplish everything I sought out to. Not, not that I don't believe myself, but there's like a time, like I, I can't spend forever on the game. <laughs> I focus mainly right now on the gameplay, not so much the story, marketing, and other elements of the game, which is sort of still unorganized. I feel like I should focus on the gameplay first because that's probably going to shape the rest of the elements anyway, and the gameplay is arguably the most important part. Although I haven't started development of the game yet, I can sense a little scope creep creeping up and I want to try to avoid that as best I can. So in the end, we went from this to this. That wasn't all I did this week. Uh, it's kind of a little boring just to show you guys some text, so I'm going to show you a little bit more. One thing I did was I made some mood or inspiration boards. I used Adobe Spark, which I've never used before, but it's pretty helpful for combining a bunch of pictures into a collage. Although I don't know exactly what the game will be like, I have a pretty rough idea, and at least you can tell from my mood boards, my sort of inspiration and where the direction of the game is going. I will say though, I'm pretty certain, but don't quote me on this, that the game will have stealth, combat, and exploration elements. Finally, I didn't actually make it this week, but here's a little bit of concept art to try to give you some idea of what the game will look like. I've never actually done concept art before, so this will be an interesting experience. I want to try to do it more and try to get a solid idea of where the art style and just the general world is going beforehand. So that's all I did this week, although it was a lot, it might have not turned out like a lot, but it was a lot of planning. Next week I'm hoping to sort of finish up my idea of the game with all this planning. I'm going to also spend time learning more stuff in Uni Blender and probably a lot of Adobe stuff, as well as make some more concept art. By the way, I'm absolutely loving the comments I've been getting on Space Prevention Force. It's awesome to see you guys play and give feedback and share your buildings. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Know that you guys are awesome. 
and I will see you in the next devlog for some more fun.